So, Simha, please uh, give me a brief introduction about yourself, please. Uh, my name is Simha Chalam, sir. Uh, I am from very small town, Vijayawada, from Andhra Pradesh. I completed my diploma in automobile engineering in 2015. After that, uh, I, I completed my graduation in 2018. And uh, from 2018 onwards, uh, Still now, I am preparing for uh, complete exams and uh, meanwhile, I am uh, uh, teaching home tuition to the students. What is your age, current age? My current age is uh, 26 years. 26 years, okay. So, what have you prepared for today? What subjects? Like subjects are like uh, basic thermodynamics, uh, strength of material, fluid mechanics and IC engines. Okay. Okay, Sima. So, uh, just tell... Uh, what are the laws of thermodynamics? What is first law? Uh, generally, first law is simply, it is a law of conservation of energy. And uh, okay. first law simply says that uh, energy is conserved. Like uh, in, it is says in quantitative form. It does not give any clear picture to the qualitative form. And uh, first law for a, first law for a, for a cyclic, uh, for a cycle, the first law equation is uh, the total um, the net heat transfer in a cycle should be equal to the net work transfer. That is for a cycle. For a process, uh, Q is equal to W plus internal energy. That is for a process. Like uh, it simply says that uh, heat heat energy is uh, mutually connected to work. Okay, so uh, can you tell me about uh, quantitative, uh, qualitative aspect of energy? Uh, which laws uh, talks about the qualitative aspect of energy? Uh, second law of thermodynamics talks about the qualitative form of energy. Uh, because uh, uh, first law of thermodynamics simply says that energy is conserved, but it is a second law of thermodynamics which gives the direction for a particular process through the concept of entropy. Like uh, there will be if you want to know the the given engine is a like a reversible engine, irreversible engine, it is feasible or not. We go for a cycle, we go for the classes inequality. How it determines? Through the classes inequality, like a cyclic integral of a del q by t, if it will be less than zero, then the cycle is reversible cycle engine. And it will be equal to zero, del q by t equal to zero, that is reversible engine. And if it is greater than zero, that engine is not possible. That is impossible engine. You talked about the qualitative and quantitative aspect of energy, right? In the first and second law. Uh, if we similarly talk about the fluid, uh, like we have to def uh, define the fluid pressure in terms of uh, in terms of quality, uh, quantity, and in terms of quality. So, which laws uh, uh, tells about that fluid pressure? In qualitative form or quantity? Both. Like uh, I don't know, sir. Exactly. Uh, fluid fluid pressure up मतलब किस कौन सा प्रिंसिपल है जो आपको fluid pressure बताता है किसी भी given point that is a you know any in any vessel uh, there is a certain point on which okay, you okay. have to determine the fluid pressure okay, so okay, sir, which okay, sir, principle will tell you about I, I got, like uh, hmm. first law of thermodynamics by using the Bernoulli equation we can able to find out the fluid pressure okay uh, in first law of thermodynamics we are considering that uh, heat and work in Bernoulli equation uh, we are uh, assumed that uh, no energy is adding or no energy leaving from the system. And what about the hydrostatic law? Fluid hydrostatic, hydrostatic law? law? When a fluid is at static condition, uh, the pressure exerted by the fluid, it is transmitted in all directions. But when uh, at a point, fluid is transmitted uh, pressure in, in e pressure, magnitude is equal in all directions at a point. Pascal's law? Okay. That is also Pascal's law, sir. Pascal's hydrostatic law both, is nothing but... So both are different, I think. Hydrostatic law is different and Pascal law is different. Uh, whatever you are telling now, uh, that the fluid pressure is uh, same in all directions. I think this is Pascal's law and hydrostatic Pascal's law is different. Plus, sir. Okay. okay, Shima, have you heard this word uh, that is uh, available energy? Yes, sir. I heard about available energy. Okay, what is this? Like uh, available energy is nothing but uh, it is the maximum, it is a maximum possible work in a cycle for a given heat input. Okay, okay. Only in the cycle? In the cycle and uh, available energy. For if you're talking about availability, we are uh, taking care of, pro we are talking about process. Suppose I have uh, one iron ball mm. and uh, its weight is 10 kg and uh, its temperature is 150 degrees Celsius. 
and uh, this is kept in atmosphere where the atmospheric temperature is 30 degrees celsius okay mm. so can i obtain uh, available energy from this ball uh, that means uh, no sir no no sir because uh, whatever the energy available uh, like uh, when the iron ball is at high 150 degrees temperature and uh, surrounding temperature is 20 degrees centigrade there will be a heat transfer from iron ball to surrounding atmospheric there will be heat energy losing but uh, uh, we may like uh, like uh, we are not going to get any energy sir like like if for but, that we are conver- for if you convert if you wanted to convert that uh, how much amount of energy we lost from the ball to we need some any other device sir that is what i am asking because this ball contains which type of energy work energy or heat energy heat energy sir ball contain heat energy yes so can i use any kind of heat engine so that i can extract some amount of heat from this ball yes sir we can extract sir if we will use heat engine then we can produce work na yes sir definitely sir if you are using a heat engine then definitely we can extract heat sir like uh, that ball as a, uh, acting as a source temperature and atmosphere is a sink temperature like uh, that is what uh, whatever the work we are going to get from that ball that is nothing but simply available energy sir yes 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 that is what i am asking that okay, suppose any kind of system we have and if this system contains energy uh, which is higher than surrounding energy okay yes, so we can obtain some amount of work from this system yeah, yes sir okay okay sima so uh, uh, can you tell uh, what is uh, sensible cooling sensible cooling sir like uh, like pure sensible cooling sir yes sensible cooling means what what is pure, pure sens- sensible cooling pure sensible cooling means uh, cooling of any medium with a constant humidity sir constant humidity and dry bulb temperature is decreasing sir have you seen a psychometry chart or uh, seen sir like uh, okay and uh, uh, do you know alignment circle no sir alignment circle i am not seen uh, in the in the psychometry chart there is one point hmm. in uh, on the psychometry chart in the middle there is one point can you tell uh, what is the property of that alignment sir uh, like uh, that point now i don't know sir like i'm now only i heard about the points uh, means you have not uh, seen yes, chart here not me. seen uh, have you used or not no not not used like okay, i'm not okay, okay. Uh, prepared sir refrigeration air condition and not okay uh, can you uh, tell which uh, cycle is used in power plant power plants are like uh, Rankine cycle in steam power plants are using sir in gas turbine plant we are using Dayton cycle. So why we are using this uh, Rankine cycle? What is the reason? Like uh, Rankine cycle, uh, like the efficiency of Rankine cycle is moreover nearer to the like it is uh, after Carnot cycle is a hypothetical cycle. After that Rankine cycle is uh, I thought that it is uh, having better like efficiency as efficiency wise or uh, work producing wise network no 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 uh, the reason is not uh, here efficiency okay not only efficiency. here reason is something else can you tell what is the uh, substance we are using in ranking cycle water is predominantly water water sir water is water okay and this water when we give heat Uh, the state of this water will changes from liquid to vapor sir liquid to vapor 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 okay yes, so like, if, sir, if you sir, like uh, sir i may guess sir like uh, um here uh, in rankin cycle uh, the pump work is negligible sir because uh, the specific volume of a liquid will be the specific volume of a liquid uh, it will be very low integral pdv the pump work will be negligible and so that we are uh, for a, as compared to bratian and other cycle uh, it will produce a small okay fine uh, so asish sir uh, you can continue okay uh, so bratian cycle can the compressor ka work zyada kyu hota hai what's uh, like sir i'm not uh, very uh, well why the compressor work is more in bratian cycle why do you, um, like uh, 
there there we have, there will be you know the alignment of a turbine uh, of our britain cycle britain uh, whenever a, a britain cycle is operated in a plant how it is executed uh, why um, how the turbine runs the compressor do you know about that yes sir like uh, there will be compressor and combustion chamber and turbine and uh, the in compressor like uh, air it is air is like any working substance is entering and uh, in compressor uh, the temperature and pressure increases then it enters to the combustion chamber there we are adding some heat energy and it will produce a huge amount of pressure like it constant pressure and it whatever the amount of pressure is contained that will be expanded in turbine and uh, some amount of energy is like the turbine and compressor they are coupled to the same shaft and some amount of energy which is used to run the turbine and remaining amount of energy which is used to generate the power sir so generation uh, the unit which is generating power and the uh, compressor unit uh, both are rotating at the same speed right according ah, to you like they are aligned same sub same speed sir no no same speed nahi hota actually dono ka uh, both speeds are different and uh, different the coupling because if, if uh, they are coupling is used between them hmm. fluid uh, have you heard about fluid coupling what is fluid coupling fluid coupling uh, i heard sir but uh, not like like uh, the britain cycle itself uh, even a turbine uh, uses a fluid coupling uh, a compressor which is run by the turbine and the com- uh, and the power generation unit both are coupled with the fluid coupling only okay yeah, one, so that one. is the application of fluid coupling uh, okay tell me one thing uh, you already uh, told about som also na uh, that you okay so like uh, i have to uh, i have to transport a fluid liquid uh from point a to point b and i am using a pipeline for that purpose okay and uh, point, sir, the, point, point point from uh, sing, uh, from point 1 to point b i want to transport a fluid okay so uh, i am using a pipeline metal pipeline uh, for that because the uh, fluid pressure is very high okay so uh, i also want to uh, minimize the cost of the pipe so um, i my construction cost can be saved okay so uh, but as you already told as you already know about that uh, when the temperature rises in the summer summer period of the fluid temperature rises the metal also expands okay yes, so what uh, what can we do uh, to accommodate this problem uh, uh, of the, of increasing size of the pipe uh, in the summers how can we avoid this problem of ex- uh, expanding and contracting metal in um, with the changing weather if we want to transport fluid like one thing is that uh, we may insulate the pipes sir so that uh, whatever the radiation is emitted by the sun uh, that is uh, not focused on the pipe but if your uh, fluid is also hot uh, you are pumping a hot uh, fluid that is, uh, is also pipe is hot mm. like uh, like uh, let us we may reduce the length of the pipe sir like the dimensions of the pipe sir so that uh, after uh, if it is a uh, no no there is a there is one point a and point b and the distance between these points are uh, constant okay so you cannot uh, adjust the distance between these points you can adjust the length of the pipe only so how will you uh, calculate how will you determine what to do and what should be done no sir mm. okay so sima can you tell about isothermal process what is isothermal process it is a processor a process means uh, changing of properties like one state the changing of properties from one state to another state by means of energy interactions uh, in that uh, the changing of properties means from one state to another state uh, in the, during that process the temperature is constant that is isothermal process and isothermal process is known it is a very very slow process but uh, how we can achieve this isothermal process sir ha ah, yes yes practically how can we can achieve generally practically means like uh, no sir like uh, any device which is maintain temp- no it is practically how it is maintained but uh, like if, if, okay. if the process is followed by reversible manner then so reversible manner it is okay reversible means what it is very slow process okay very but slow process yes. and their uh, ah. temp- Yes, yes, sir. Sir, like I, I may give one example, sir. Like, let us consider mm-hmm. a piston. Uh, mm-hmm. Over a piston, uh, we are putting some slides of weights. If mm-hmm. you are while uh, removing uh, one slice by one slice, the piston is slowly expanding. When the piston is mm-hmm. expanding, temperature is uh, 
reducing and uh, how much amount of temperature reducing and the equivalent amount of heat energy we are providing uh, then uh, the process then throughout the process is temperature is constant no here what you are saying this is the just example okay you are you are ah, giving sir, one sir, example manner, uh, that how uh, uh, how you will achieve this reversible process but i am asking practically suppose any system we have and i have to change the state of this system from one state to two state okay then whether system expand or compress how we can maintain mm -hmm. its temperature constant process is very fast process is not slow because in actual no, practice sir, every process is fast not a slow irreversible process sir Ah, like uh, but one one like like uh, sir like uh, throughout the process uh, temperature is to be uh, like you said irreversible process through like in free expansion process uh, uh, if it is if you if you are taking uh, ideal gas then uh, we are going to get uh, temperature initial temperature and final temperature are constants in free expansion process in free expansion uh, process we are uh, we are we are providing system insulated and uh, there is a insulated then there will be no work and heat transfer and there by uh, if you are applying first law of thermodynamics there we are going to get internal energy is conserved and uh, if you are taking uh, fluid as ideal gas then finally you are going to get uh, initial temperature and final temperature are constant there also the process is irreversible okay sima uh, leave it because uh, to achieve this condition isothermal process you can simply Uh, connect this uh, system to large reservoir okay oh sir 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 like uh, some uh, if you are like uh, uh, yes like reverse if if you have large reservoir then you can easily maintain the temperature yes, uh, even process uh, is fast sir. okay nice uh, okay fine fine sima uh, uh ashish sir i think uh, we should go for the feedback okay uh you uh, i think the uh, uh, introduction part uh, prepare on that uh, introduction part a little bit um, not a, uh, much detailed uh, introduction just a brief introduction but uh, your basic information should be included in that okay uh, your name your age i asked about your age because you uh, didn't mention about your age now in the starting Uh, with your name so first of all whenever you are introducing yourself just uh, tell your name and the age then your place okay then you are uh, after that uh, you are uh, where where have you graduated from okay your educational details then after okay, you give sir. last me your hobbies only okay, okay uh, apart from that your subjects knowledge are i think uh, this is uh, adequate kaafi theek hai this is pretty much uh, pretty good but i think jo uh, subjects aapne bole whatever subjects you are uh, telling na you are prepared it can be brushed up a little more like thermodynamics can be brushed up little more uh, strength of material okay and uh, also concentrated on the basic 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 principles uh, which includes in, in the fluid mechanics and the thermodynamics basic principles uh, you should uh, also clear uh, clarify uh, those also okay uh, clarify these principles also and practical application of these principles uh, one or two practical application you should know about sir, that okay because uh, say sir sir I, i i like i felt like that i am lagging in practical application right right practical application ke andar thoda lag ho raha because uh, you are going to uh, work in an industry na nuclear fuel complex uh, it is an industry uh, which provides nuclear uh, fuel related assistance to the uh, power generation units power generation plants hai unko uh, supply karti hai to uh, so, your your work is uh, industry oriented so your uh, principles uh, knowing principles only not uh, not will be adequate okay so you should also know about the practical application not much just one or two but uh, there should be definitely these things okay sir like uh, my english is okay sir like uh... ha your english is okay english is fine usme uh, okay. there is no problem with your english okay just the uh, application part should be uh, more uh, in your answers okay sir okay sir. Okay, Sima. As uh, Ashish sir already told you about uh, your application part is uh, little bit weak. Okay, and uh, you have technical knowledge. You have uh, learned the, all the concept, all the definitions. Uh, but one thing is very important that uh, try to be uh, very precise in your answer. Okay, 
whatever we are asking just answer only those points i am asking about isothermal process and you are saying uh, adiabatic expansion free expansion so there is no need of uh, explaining these things so just uh, whatever you are saying just say to the point and very precise and uh, in case or you don't know anything about that particular concept then uh, uh, you can say that uh, sorry sir i am uh, unable to recall you can say like that and just uh, revise all the concept and uh, try to practice some questions which is related with applications okay sir that is very important because they will you question application based they will check not only your concept but how you can apply those concept in your practical problem so asis sir uh, you want to say something no no it's uh, it is all right okay so you go prepare well and uh, all the best for the interview thank you sir hmm okay sima good luck ah uh, thank you sir bye, bye. okay all the best uh, thank you sir.